Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to do another spooky reaction video today. I've been looking forward to doing these. Um, this one's to Slap Tam's channel. If you wouldn't mind popping by his channel, the link is in the description. Be very grateful if you could drop him a sub and show some support. Thank you very much. This one's called Creepy Paranormal Footage Caught on Camera. Hopefully it's a good one, nice creepy one. We'll find out. If you do enjoy it, please sub to my channel, uh, hit the thumbs up on the video and leave a comment. I am still learning with all this, so any feedback is appreciated or even just your favourite emote will do to generate some sort of engagement on that. I am pushing for monetization as I keep going on about in the other videos, but um, if you wouldn't mind letting this play all the way through, even in the background while you're doing other stuff, if you could take time out to watch another one or two of my videos, I'd be very grateful for that. I am trying to get the viewing hours up. Uh, but in the meantime, let's crack on. Give this a watch. Hopefully it's scary. Um, let's put the cans on and check it out, shall we? How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. You're about to see some of the scariest video clips that are trending on socials right now. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. In a captivating video shared by Reddit user UsualChellis1277, viewers are given a glimpse into the eerie corridors of an abandoned hospital in Lassi, Romania. The footage, brief yet chilling, documents the exploration of this dilapidated facility by a group of curious individuals. <laughs> But as the camera holder turns to face a long corridor, the lens fleetingly catches something quite unsettling. <laughs> Looks like a woman peering out from the left-hand side. If you slow the footage down, her presence becomes more obvious. Bloody hell. Good the sudden spot, appearance huh? spooks the explorers who quickly flee the area. <laughs> So is this woman merely a squatter seeking refuge in the forgotten halls of the hospital? Or could her presence hint at something more spectral? The eerie... That is quite creepy now you can actually see it, but Christ, potato or what? Those places do look quite creepy regardless, to be honest, but um, yeah, I don't know what you guys think. Setting combined with the brief and unexpected sighting leaves viewers with a haunting impression blurring the lines between reality and the supernatural in the shadowy recesses of an abandoned hospital. <laughs> this next video on our list shows something rather creepy. Take a look. Uploaded to Reddit by user Maximus Killer, the video is an excerpt taken from the poster's backyard security camera. The clip has sparked a debate in the comments section about what it actually shows. Is the mysterious figure a ghost or a human? Several viewers think that the more creepy scenario would be if the figure was actually a human as they're jogging through the poster's backyard at night time. We'll throw this strange piece of footage over to you, the viewers. What do you think this security camera has captured? Is the mysterious figure a ghost? Or a trespassing jogger in desperate need of some midnight cardio. Yeah, we've seen this one before, but as, as he says there, either way, it's creepy. In a spine-tingling share over on Reddit, user Dark16 posted photos that have stirred up intrigue and speculation. The images reveal bruises on both sides of the poster's back resembling fingerprints. The poster explains that these mysterious marks appeared after spending some time in a recently purchased property, a renovation project. Despite wearing a heavy jacket that day, the poster was baffled to find these vivid marks, which were pointed out by his wife after he showered. Skeptical of their origin, the poster initially attributed them to mundane activities like carrying concrete or gym exercises. However, the distinct appearance of these marks resembling human fingerprints defied such explanations. Adding another layer of eeriness to the story, the poster reveals that a woman in her 30s had died in the house the previous August, likely from a drug overdose. 
The possibility of a lingering presence in the house, given the traumatic nature of her death, is something the poster can't shake off. Notably, the size and spacing of the finger-like bruises seem consistent with a woman's hand. Though not a firm believer in the paranormal, the poster can't help but ponder the implications of these eerie marks. Was the poster slapped by a ghost? Or is there another way to explain the sudden and mysterious appearance of these marks? Let me know your thoughts on this strange story in the comments down below. Yeah, they do look to have like the shapings of hands, don't they? It's weird. I like Callan's sort of backstory fill as well. He always does a good job of getting all the details and things like that. But um, it looks like being pushed, but surely you would have felt something like that. But let us know what you guys think. In a recent post on Reddit, user Fun Administration 28 shared a spine-tingling photo sent to them by a friend at the bewitching hour of 3 a.m. The image, originating from Malaysia, has sparked considerable discussion among netizens, with many speculating that it might capture the eerie presence of a Pontianak. For those unfamiliar, a Pontianak is a mythical creature deeply rooted in Malaysian and Indonesian folklore. It's believed to be the vengeful spirit of a woman who died during childbirth. These entities are often depicted as a pale-skinned woman with long flowing hair dressed in white, embodying both ethereal beauty and chilling malevolence. They're notorious for emitting a baby's cries to lure unsuspecting victims, especially men, before revealing their true fearsome nature. The photo in question is dark, However, it becomes startlingly clear when brightened up. It reveals a ghostly looking figure that, according to one viewer, bears an uncanny resemblance to the infamous ghost from The Grudge. The figure's appearance in the image has not only sent shivers down the spine of the Reddit community, but's also reignited interest in the traditional folklore surrounding these spectral entities. This photo and the discussions it spurred highlight the deep-seated cultural fears and enduring belief in supernatural entities like the Pontianak in Malaysian society. It serves as a modern reminder of the age-old tales that continue to haunt and fascinate in equal measure. So what do you think's been caught on camera here? Is it really something supernatural? Or is there another way to explain this strange presence? Yeah. It does. I, I was going to suggest, like, it looks a bit like the, the ring or the grudge or whatever, but um, it could just be pareidolia looking at it, but it just seems to be at a funny angle, like, sort of drifting at a funny angle. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let us know. Shrewsbury Prison, renowned for its chilling history and eerie atmosphere, recently featured this creepy photo on its Facebook page. The post highlighted a spine-tingling occurrence during a paranormal investigation led by the team from Haunted Scouse TV. While exploring the Sea Wing, which is famously known as the most haunted section of the prison, a guest captured something truly unexplainable. In the photo, what appears to be a shadowy figure is seen dashing across the landing of Sea Wing. This prison, with its long and dark history, has been the site of numerous reports of paranormal activity. From the echoes of footsteps in empty corridors to the fleeting glimpses of shadowy figures and unexplained noises, the prison has long been a magnet for ghost hunters and enthusiasts of the supernatural. The Sea Wing in particular has been a focal point for many eerie experiences. Stories abound of former inmates and wardens who, it seems, have never quite left the premises. The Wing is steeped in tales of despair and untold mysteries, making it a hotspot for paranormal investigations. The shadow captured in the photo serves as a stark reminder of the prison's haunted reputation, leaving many to wonder who or what is still lingering in the corridors of Shrewsbury Prison, long after its doors have closed. Yeah, I've seen a few guys do investigations here. I think the Ouija Brothers 
have been there a few times and I think I might have been this one that most haunted went to back in the day, but I mean obviously they've lost quite a lot of their credibility over the years unfortunately. But um there does seem to be quite a lot of activity. Um definitely some sort of outline there. What do you guys make of that? What do you think it could be? I thought it was maybe just a broken window or something, but I don't know, it seems... It doesn't seem to continue down below, but... Let us know what you guys think. This next brief clip was uploaded to TikTok by user MovieFanSLP. Take a look and see if you can spot anything out of the ordinary. At first, it can be hard to see. However, when you slow the footage down, you can see what appears to be an object flying past the plane below. It moves so fast, it's almost undetectable to the really? naked eye at a regular speed. In a recent historic move that marked a significant shift in the public discourse on unidentified flying objects, the US government held official hearings on the subject. These hearings, the first of their kind in decades, were a response to growing public interest and concern about unexplained aerial phenomena, especially given the implications for national security and aviation safety. During these hearings, high-ranking officials from various departments, including the Department of Defense, provided testimonies and answered questions posed by congressional committees. Key aspects of the hearing focused on the analysis of documented UFO sightings, many of which have been captured by military personnel. The discussions aim to shed light on the nature of these phenomena, their potential origins, and the protocols in place for reporting and investigating such sightings. One of the pivotal moments in the hearings was the presentation of declassified videos showing unidentified aerial phenomena encountered by military pilots. These videos, which had previously caused a stir in the media, depicted fast-moving objects exhibiting flight characteristics beyond the capability of current human-made aircraft. The officials emphasised the importance of understanding these phenomena, not only from a national defence perspective, but also from scientific and technological viewpoints. They acknowledged that while some sightings could be attributed to advanced technologies from foreign adversaries or private entities, there remained a significant number of incidents that defied conventional explanation. Like the object seen streaking past the plane in this video, much is still unknown about these so-called UAPs. Are they alien in origin, or could they be top secret government projects? Watch the clip one more time and let me know what you think this mysterious object might actually be in the comments down below. Yeah, I would like to believe in things that there is more out there um that video seemed quite legit to be honest it just seemed i don't know it seemed a bit like opaque if you know what i mean it was just a bit too see-through but um it was a good capture what do you guys think this next video uploaded to the ghost sisters facebook page shows something rather creepy it can be hard to spot at first, but if you keep your eye on the area near the woman in the back, you should be able to see it. There appears to be a strange face peering over the woman's shoulder. As the video is brief and has little accompanying information, it's hard to know exactly what we're seeing here. Some viewers suggested it might be a mannequin or simply a case of pareidolia caused by the lighting and the unusual pattern on the curtains in the background. But what do you think? Can this mysterious face be so easily explained away? Or could it be something more supernatural? Take another look and let me know what you think it could be down below.
Yeah, I don't get that one, like. There's something there, but I, I, I wouldn't say it was a face. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. Right, there we go, guys. Another decent video of that. Thank you very much, Slap Hat. Yeah, some talking points there. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. I'd be very interested in getting some of your views. Uh, let us know what you think. Um, as I said, pop by Slap Time's channel. The link is in the description. And drop them a sub if you haven't already done so. A sub to my channel, please, if you haven't already. And like I said, if you could watch this or watch any more of my videos, be very grateful for that. Or come by my live streams and have a chat. Uh, hang up, hang out for a bit. Uh, normally from around ten o'clock p.m. UK, and we can have a discussion around any me videos or gaming or paranormal in general, whatever you want to discuss. Um, but yeah, thanks everyone for coming by, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers for watching.